This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sandra Ali with your top headlines on this Tuesday morning. The big story today and this morning is the weather. We have snow moving into our area. Let's go ahead and check in with Kylie Miller for the Good morning, everyone. The morning code view so far has not been great. Watch out still for poor visibility, and we're still dealing with the accumulating snowfall. Winter weather advisories in place for Macomb, Oakland, Livingston, Washington, Way, Monroe, and Ledway counties. These are set to expire at 11 a.m., but even then, after for the afternoon, we are going to still be dealing with that snow changing over to rain, and the rain is going to be picking up in intensity throughout the afternoon time frame as temperatures continue to climb into the low 40s for today. Then for tonight, that rain is going to switch over back to snow as temperatures fall back into the 30s. We'll have to watch out for some icing once again, especially on the secondary roads, those untreated surfaces during the overnight period. Then looking ahead to tomorrow, temperatures will climb into the upper 30s with a few of those lake enhanced snow showers rolling through the region. It's still going to be windy for tomorrow as well, with winds gusting up to about 30 miles per hour. So for today, reaching highs in the low 40s, it is going to be windy for today. We'll have to watch out for power outages and of course any of those school cancellations delays we're going to keep you updated this afternoon starting to see that transition period from snow over to all rain that rain is going to continue to stream up towards the north and east it's going to be heavy at times we'll have to watch out for some flooding too then we're going to see a lull in the action closer to about midnight before we get the wraparound moisture that is going to be providing colder air and more snow. Tomorrow it's going to be windy. More lake enhanced snowfall is going to be expected. Still in general, about two to four inches of snowfall accumulation throughout the morning hours. But a lot of that's going to be melting once we do see the rain moving on through. It's going to wash some of that out. Temperatures for today in the 40s, then looking ahead to the upper 30s tomorrow, holding on to those 30s for Thursday, Friday, over the weekend. That's when we start to see cooler air ushering on in. Low 30s expected on Saturday, 20s by Sunday and Monday. Sandra. Thank you, Kylie. The University of Michigan Wolverines are now national champs. They defeated the Washington Huskies 34 to 13 last night. It's the first time since 1997 Michigan has been crowned a national champion. The Wolverines are now the first Big Ten team to win more than 15 games since the University of Chicago back in 1899. Some comforting news for Lions fans as they prepare to host the first ever playoff game at Ford Field. Sam Laporta, the standout rookie tight end who was hurt during Sunday's game, might be able to play this Sunday. That's when the Lions host the L.A. Rams. Laporta's got an outside shot now, so um, we'll see. It's gonna, we'll know a lot in 48 hours, and we're going to know a lot uh, with him. But he's got an outside shot, but it's, it's very much we're talking in days, not weeks, I think, here. Uh, which is a good thing. Early birds, this is good news for you. You can now get a jump start on your federal income taxes starting on January 29th. That's when the IRS will start accepting 2023 returns. If you're not an early bird, you do have until April 15th to file. Lansing Public Schools, Detroit Public Schools, and the City of Pontiac School District all receiving $5.9 million. It's part of the Environmental Protection Agency's Clean School Bus Program. That money will be used to buy 15 electric or low emission school buses for each district. The American Red Cross declaring an emergency because of a very critical blood shortage. The nonprofit saying the number of people donating blood, it's at its lowest level we've seen in 20 years. There's been about a 40% drop in the number of people willing to roll up their sleeves. That's a look at your headlines on this Tuesday. We'll be back later today covering stories that matter to you. Have a great day.